Hi everyone, welcome to FA Channel. You're in a space where we celebrate art, technology, and creativity. For the last couple months, we've been sharing so much knowledge and new updates about avatars, and we'll continue share what we know and what is so exciting of their new updates that can help you guys choose the right avatar to talk in front of camera, share your amazing content. I'm so happy to receive a lot of messages from our audience and uh, um, we also have audience who share their amazing work uh, that they create VR chat world and then they show on our Discord server. So please don't hesitate to share your work and go check it out our audience work. In this episode, I want to introduce the new animes update. They just announced they will allow to import a Ready Player Me avatar to animes, which is a great news because maybe a lot of people don't have a VR a V right avatar. And as I mentioned from the previous video, if you like North American style uh, avatar or the simple way to create your own avatar that looks like you, then Ready Player Me is a really good one option. And since we already talked about both software, so let's dive in and try. And I will show you the steps of how import Ready Player Me into animes. Let's get started. So to create your own avatar is the same step as we mentioned to the same step when you create avatar for VR chat. In our last video about Ready Player Me avatar, some people ask they couldn't do it because they didn't really get the right access URL. Um, I just want to confirm here, if you want to get a Ready Player Me avatar import to VR chat, the domain URL is vrchat.readyplayer.me. Once you create that VR chat 3D model avatar, you just directly upload it. If it doesn't work, you can download the FBX file and then adjust by yourself in Unity. This time, if you want to import to animes, we thought we can just use the FBX file we download from the previous uh, avatar that we get from this vrchat.readyplayer.me, but we tried and it doesn't work. So instead of go vrchat.readyplayer.me, go to animes.readyplayer.me. Mm. You just have to create a new one. And I was hesitating and I was like, kind of afraid if the avatar will look different. But fortunately, it seems like they're very accurate with, with selfie. I think unless you change your face <laughs> completely or different person, your avatar will pretty much be the same as previous one. So don't worry about that part. Plus this time, there are so many new options as you can see they have, they have new clothes new tattoos um new makeups and yeah you can just have fun with that create a new avatar i completely changed my whole style because i will just have some fun make a new avatar and after you create make sure you download the glb make you make sure you download the glb file which is already optimized for animes. Once you have this GLB file, you still have to convert to dot avatar file by using animes editor. How you do that is to open to open the animes editor and import a 3D file and then you will see After you import it, you just have to, you will see the hierarchy panel on the left side and you click on that. On the list, there's one called bundle. You just need to bundle the file. Now it's ready to use. Yeah, so as you can see, when we can go try it right now. When we try it, you will see I was using the dot avatar that file that you exported 
and added it with the animes editor. Now let's go try it out. Okay, and then this is go here and you will find you see the this is like default avatar. You wanna import your own import and then this is the bundled avatar. You put in here, open. There. Is it? Oh, I have to connect here. So, see here, animes, iPhone as a webcam. And there, you find the QR code iPhone tracking and then we go in start connection here's the QR code and once you put it <clears throat> as you find animes PC iPhone as webcam connect and then just scan it there you go calibrating Cool. Okay. Now I'm trying. My oh, <laughs> so yeah, this is the avatar. Do you think you look like me? That's a little bit, but the eyebrow is weird. Maybe the eyebrow I choose is pretty different than my real avatar and my swipe. <laughs> Smiling is <laughs> hmm, a little bit strange, but it does feel like this is me and with like my face features, but with facial expression, it's a bit strange. Let me color calibrate again, maybe more like this way. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So you can try like at least for now. We, we what we realize is the two avatar I've done with the same just selfie is completely same face, <laughs> which is good. But I really can tell that facial expression is slightly different than last time. You can see my previous video with the Ready Player Me to import to VR chat. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know why whenever I smile, my eyebrows just go down like confused. <laughs> That's one question. <laughs> but I do like this futuristic the face tattoo look pretty futuristic in my new hairstyle <clears throat> and what else can I blow cheek no <laughs> but there are a lot of like tiny subtle facial expression that I don't think that is happening with other face tracking you can tell like with little facial expression you kind of track pretty well it just I cannot do that. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> so it really depends on what you like. That's all. That's my, that's my tracking. Okay. So let's now disconnect iPhone and track only with the webcam and see what's the difference. This is the webcam one. You can see it's calculated. I think it's webcam is good enough. Doesn't really have to with the app. A little bit less accurate because I feel like with the app, I eyeball track more accurate. Mm. 
I still think there's something wrong with when I when you're smiling. It's the eyebrow changing the certain way. Let me know what yours is like. This is what happens when I track my own face. Hmm. It's weird because it does feel like look like me in certain angle. But facial expression, not not so much. <laughs> But that's not really a problem, right? Because if you talk in front of camera with a leap motion of hand tracking, this is good enough and pretty easy to set up. Cool. Okay, as you can see, the anime is like, it's not you can see like the it's very accurate and it's very simple if you, you don't have to make your own avatar and then now because of animes you also have the option to track your facial expression and just talk through that like you don't really have to make a real right avatar or using the white io app that i'm using right now but yeah there are just tons of options Please go take a look and try if that's your favorite and let me know if you got the same avatar or not I'm just curious about what com what comes up. And yeah. So hopefully in the future, Ready Player Me have this service that you can save the appearance that you once made a selfie, for example, and then you save the avatar and then can directly import it to different services like VR chats or Roblox. That will be the ideal situation. You don't really have to do Every time when there's new service, you don't have to make your own avatar once again. Because we, uh, I'm pretty sure Ready Player Me will eventually make service like that because they're, I think uh, one of the interview they're saying their goal is, they're interested in different kind of format of avatar and their goal is to create the platform for any kind of avatar goes to different metaverse. So yeah, let's hope that happening and we will do updates if that's happening eventually. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Hope it's helpful and hope you get your ideal avatar to work with. And please subscribe our channel for updates every week. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.